Good morning, you guys. No cute intro or anything. I am in a state of crisis right now because this Yeti, I have had this style of Yeti for a year, year and a half now, and she's supposed to be like leak resistant. This one is just a new one, but I've had this style for a while, so I know that usually it's pretty damn leak proof. I have been messing with this lid because guess what it just opened up in my bag and now there's a pool of water and this lid is on as tight as it can go the little black top is locked that ain't looking pretty leak resistant to me like what is going on like is my top defective i think my top is defective all right well anyway good morning <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Casey and I am an ER tech and a college student and I thought it would be really cool to show you guys what a couple days in my life looks like. So I'm doing something new that I haven't done this semester at least. Um, I'm working a 12 hour shift during the school week when I have classes the next day. I work night shift if you guys didn't know, so 7 p.m to 7 a.m. Uh, I'm giving this a shot. So last semester I did this and I had class at 1 p.m. So I'd wake up at noon. I took a little nap after work. It worked out fine. This semester I have class at noon. I know that doesn't sound like a big difference, but when you go to bed at 8 a.m., that is quite the difference. So, we're gonna give it a shot. Today is Thursday, it is 9.20. I have class in 10 minutes. I am praying that uh, I can find a parking spot because for some reason I've had a huge issue trying to park on campus. I also give a presentation today. <laughs> but that is like the last thing on my mind because I'm so upset about my cup. Like you guys, this cup is like my ride or die. And if if she ain't gonna hold the water in her, then we're gonna have to separate. And that is just heartbreaking. So on Thursdays, I only have one class and that is all wrapped up. I actually gave a presentation in the class with a group and I think it went super, super well. So now I'm kind of in like a little bit of a predicament. Also, sorry, the lighting is so bad. I, I'm, I'm driving, so I can't, I can't change where the sun is. Um, but I work at 7 p.m. tonight. So at some point I need to take like a little nap and I need to get more sleep before I stay awake for 12 hours tonight. So I'm debating, do I want to nap right now? Or do I wanna to try to go to the gym, shower, eat, and then nap? I'm thinking I'm gonna to go to the gym because I'm like really awake right now. I don't know if I could fall back asleep. But then if I go to the gym now, I would take pre-workout and I would definitely be awake. Hmm. I'll make this decision while I'm driving home. So I'm in my pajamas because I decided that I'm gonna nap now. It is 11.10 and I will probably nap till like 2.30. That way I can get to the gym at three. Um, <laughs> I basically decided I'm gonna nap now because I was like, oh, if I go to the gym, I'm gonna want caffeine, I'm gonna take pre-workout, and then I'm not gonna be able to nap after I have some caffeine in my system. So I'd rather just nap now, um, and I will see you guys after my little nap. That's basically the options you have when you work night shift. You can either stay awake the night before and then sleep in, which that's usually what I prefer to do. I just couldn't do that today because I had a class at 9.30, or you can like wake up at your normal time and then nap. 
Um, I never have an issue napping unless I take caffeine or something like that. So you just gotta choose what's best for you. But I will see y'all after my nap and I'm so excited because of my heated blanket is warming up. Oh, I love my heated blanket. All right, so right now it's 3.30 and I am getting ready for the gym. I try to go to the gym four times a week just because if I don't go to the gym, I don't know what happens to me. Literally, it's like there's a wire sparking in my brain and the connections aren't made. And I'm just, I'm not myself when I don't go to the gym. And especially since I took that long nap, you guys, I slept so well. Like I had dreams and everything. I'm a, a really good napper. So that was good. I'm wearing, here, let me show you guys. So Torin calls this my dolphin trainer outfit. So we're wearing that to the gym, uh, but let's make some pre-workout. I use Bucked Up for my pre-workout. They are the supplement company I work with. Code CaseySmith20 gets you 20% off. And then I believe down below, I have a link for um, free, free, <laughs> I have a link down below for free samples. And then you also get a shaker bottle. So even if you end up not liking the supplements, which I'd be surprised if you didn't, because I love their pre-workout flavors, the shaker bottle is absolutely amazing. But yeah, I just know with like the start to the new year, a lot of people are going to the gym and it's kind of getting to that point where maybe you've gone a couple times where you're starting to lack motivation. And if you get really tired and you feel like you need that extra push to get you to the gym, pre-workout is great for that. It's got caffeine in it. It's got vasodilators in it. So it's basically like an upper to help you go to the gym. But I just want to remind you guys that supplements are just that. They are supplements, so you do not need them to achieve your fitness goals. They're just like a nice little add-on. But anyway, let's go to the gym. I'm debating if I'm going to film at the gym or not. I'll film if it's not busy. I'm way up on the coke and rum. you stay up, up and I'll come home. Don't wait up, cause I'm way too gone. Don't wait up. my hands <laughs> no what you can't let people know that you love me
Lunch is packed, I'm showered, I'm clean, and I'm just snarfing down a piece of pizza. I hate going to work hungry because usually we're busiest from 7 to 1 a.m. So I really don't get to eat until midnight or 1 a.m. And I do not want to be hungry for that long because I get hangry. Lunch is packed. Um, I need to leave in about 10 minutes to get to work on time. So I will see you guys in 12 hours and I'll give you like a little post shift recap. Hello, you guys. It is 11.50 a.m. It is now Friday. I didn't talk to you guys this morning when I got off because I wanted to go right to bed because I had to shower and wake up for this class. Um, last night went really well. Uh, it was super busy in the ER, but overall pretty good. I am feeling kind of tired right now. I have one class and my plan is to go back to sleep because I have another shift. To be completely honest, my brain has not fully turned on yet. So last night with me being in triage, um, a tip I want to give you guys if you are techs or you want to be a tech that is super helpful is if you're walking a patient back from triage into their room, put them on the monitor. Like this is a small task that is so helpful to the nurses and everyone else so that you can immediately start collecting vital signs. Also. Um, if you're not in triage, but you're just teching on the floor and you walk into a patient's room and you notice, oh, a blood pressure hasn't been taken for 30 minutes or something like that, or vital signs haven't been taken for 30 minutes, go ahead and take a set of vital signs and pop them in the chart as long as you're allowed to do that sort of stuff. Like those little things are so helpful on a night where we're super busy, like our, like Basically, as soon as a patient got discharged or admitted, we were putting another patient in that room. So there was like no rest for the nurses. It was like new patient after new patient. And so just doing those little things to help them, especially if you have the time, is so, so helpful and it just immensely helps their workflow. And it's great practice for all of you that eventually want to be nurses, want to be PAs, want to be MDs, like that sort of thing. Anytime you get to directly interact with a patient, I think that is an amazing experience that you get. All right, but like I said, so right now, I'm kind of turning on now that I'm talking to you guys. Um, I'm headed to my one class, fingers freaking crossed that I find a parking spot very easily because my class starts my class starts in four minutes I definitely left late I snoozed my alarm and I shouldn't have done that um, so hopefully the parking gods are on our side right now I've got good news and bad news the good news is I found a parking spot the parking gods were with us the bad news I did not grab my water bottle so <laughs> Looks like I'm going without water this class. Talk to me nice. Talk to me honestly. Look in my eyes. Don't let it fall on me. Say you're a good guy. Make me believe it. Don't want to hear it. I want to see it. See how. Rewind. When we rewind. Feels so nice. We. 
class, I ran to the grocery store and I just got done eating. I just grabbed like some deli meat, bread, and then we're supposed to have friends over this weekend. So I got like some Prosecco and Aperol to make Aperol spritz. I should have logged in the grocery store, but I was talking with my mom. I try to like multitask when I do errands. Me and my mom are really close. So I try to talk to her at least once a day. She's all the way down in Florida. So I've only had four hours of sleep. It's 2.20 right now. I guess I need to go back to sleep and hopefully get like another two hours in. So then I'll at least be at six hours today because I go back to work tonight at 7 p.m. and I'm doing another full shift 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. So back to sleep, I guess it is. I remember all things must pass but i'm not gonna wake up wake up i'm not ready let me have another day don't wake up wake up keep it steady cause i'm happy i'm not gonna wake up no no not yet whoa no not yet whoa no no not yet whoa but i'm not gonna wake So I'm running late, shocker, who would have thought? So tonight for lunch, dinner, whatever you want to call it, I've got some salmon, rice, and broccoli. Torin was so nice and he made it all. Thanks, Hello. babe. Hello. Um, I made a sandwich, some yogurt, um, instant oatmeal I can heat up at work. Liquid IV, I'm like really thirsty right now and I'm into flavored water, surprisingly. Um, and then there's blackberries in here and a little block of cheese. Y'all, I'm a cheese lover. And then I've got an apple, some Lay's chips to go with my sandwich. What are you laughing at? Are you laughing at me? No, okay. no it's Instagram. And then I'm gonna bring two energy drinks tonight. What is so funny? Tell us. We no. want to know. No, I can't. Oh, God. All right. So tonight I'm wearing this Lululemon jacket and um, a Lululemon shirt. I like wearing their Swiftly tees because there's perforations in them. Very breathable. And then I'm wearing some fig scrubs. These are a size large and they are a little too big, though. But otherwise, I feel like the pink is a cute little vibe. It's like a tonal look. But anyway, I have to run to work. I will talk to you guys in 12 hours and happy Friday.